All right, all right, guys. First morning waking up in Bangkok. What a crazy experience. So yeah, uh, flight went well. Another six hours on the plane from uh, Japan, which went pretty smoothly, except at the end there, some bad weather in Bangkok. So we ended up circling the airport for, for maybe a half hour or something like that, trying to, to land. But uh, except for that, pretty smooth. Everything was good. Japan Airlines was great. I'll be honest, like this was the, the, the only flight where the food was sort of horrible or maybe I just didn't like it. Yeah, I, I didn't eat much. As soon as I landed, my friend uh, Nuna picked me up, tried to find my hotel. I'm gonna try to insert that here. Yeah, um, so like you guys saw, I've never seen so much water, right? In, in a city, like the water was going up halfway up the tire, right? And apparently that's like small. I'm at the Fusion Suites Hotel. It's nothing crazy. Like at first I wanted to like book Marriott and all that. And then when I realized that I wanted to be close to uh, transportation and like more central, at that time, it just made more sense to book something smaller. I'm so happy. With, uh, with what I got here. The, the place is really nice, right? Uh, I can give a quick tour. Um, so, yeah. So this is the room. Well, the view from the room, right? So, as you can see, it's really raining. We've got some like exotic car sales place or whatever in front. a little table to uh, have lunch we've got uh, a nice little sofa here right a lounger the bed got a desk here it's kind of weird but I guess it works it's sort of dark in here guys but you know, I don't know. It works. Got the TV. Everything you need, right? So it's, it's, it's not crazy, but it's still pretty nice. Got the, the wood uh, decoration. Got this little uh, separator here behind the bed. So I've never tried it. Oh, there we go. Got the remote. So. Glass separates the bathroom, right? It's pretty cool. Got the shower in there. It's very clean, very clean. Nice little feature, I guess, if you're into like that naughty stuff or whatever. But uh, yeah, not really practical if you're shy. <laughs> so yeah. Only thing I'd say is that there's not much light, like there, there's light, but um, yeah, I, I prefer a little more, but uh, very nice, very clean, um, pretty cool place, right? All right guys, so what's cool about the Fusion Suites Hotel is that it has a bar and it has a restaurant on the lower floor of, uh, of the hotel, right? You can have a drink, you can get some food, you don't even have to leave the place, right? So it's pretty cool. As you can see, it gets a little busy though. So yeah, so there's the fact that there's a lot of people, a lot of traffic all the time, but it's still a great bargain. Like honestly, if you look at the prices, it's really worth the while. 
and I really recommend it. And I can't say anything bad about the place, you know, maybe except there's missing lighting, but you know, who cares? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna finish this beer and I'm gonna be on my way because I think rain is coming, right? All right, so another good reason to stay at Fusion Suites is because it's right next to a 7-Eleven, actually two 7-Elevens, right? Everything's close. Only thing I'd say is honestly, like look at this traffic. So yeah, so if you can deal with people and deal with traffic, you're in the right spot, right? Another convenience of staying at the Fusion Suites Hotel is that you are literally two minutes away from the Sukhumvit MRT in Asok. So why wouldn't you stay there? It has literally everything, 7-Elevens, it's beside the MRT. Um, every convenience is there. You've got street food, restaurants, Korean stuff, you name it, you have it, right? So for the price, you can't really beat it.